really I think the future of education is around this concept of mass personalization which is how does educa education get to the level of every individual and their own wants, needs, um, skills, abilities, talents etc and, and really education does not do that today. You're sitting in a classroom in Fosloros or something like that, 70 other kids in your class, teachers trying to teach maths, everybody's at a different level. Okay, so all of us go through this kind of old-fashioned traditional educational system which really never talks to any of us. It always misses every one of us except for maybe one or two people in the class that the teacher can really talk to. And as a result, so many kids don't end up really being successful through education, finding it fulfilling, getting lost, or, or, all that type of thing. So I think the revolution that's happening in education is both the digital revolution, which allows every individual to learn at their own pace, revise, understand stuff, what they're good. Some people are good at learning through visuals, some people auditory, etc. Et but then coupling that with what is a methodology to wake up the individual, because if the student's sitting there and they don't know who they are and they can't learn and they're exhausted and they're drinking cups of coffee like every five minutes and taking every kind of tablet to stay awake and you know because the stuff's dead boring and and and, and all, all that kind of thing it's it's just kind of a total mismatch the kind of current education system and it's not really teaching people how to think or create or anything else that we need in the 21st century to be successful it's happened to me. So I was studying actuarial science. I didn't know what hit me. It was literally because my father said to me, I must either be a doctor or an actuary. And I went into VITS, started off at first year actuarial science because I didn't like the sight of blood. And literally six months in, I was like, what the hell have I done? Uh, you know, like I've doomed myself. A anyway, this started my kind of unillustrious, ac you know, academic actuarial career scraped through first year, scraped through second year, teachers thought I was a total disaster, got into third year, failed my key subjects, actual science three and uh, statistics three. I got like in the thirties, they were like, forget it, you're never gonna be an actuary, go do something easy, uh, like commerce or, or uh, a BA arts or something like that. And I only got back into university because my mom uh, uh, begged the professor, redid third year, got 47, 48 for my key subjects. They, Vitz decided to they pushed me through with 50 and then I started off in a pensions actual division in a big company didn't know what hit me it was so boring it was so hard to kind of get up go to work come home study these actual textbooks that had felt like they were from like 300 years ago and and uh, of course I wrote the April exams I failed um, the two exams I wrote in September, I failed them both. And then I came across Transcendental Meditation, TM, a bunch of other things that I started to do. And funny enough, how I got into this thing is that my mom was diagnosed with liver cancer and the doctors gave her three months left to live. She had stage four liver cancer. And this was now like 20 something years ago. And um, she said to the doctors, bugger you, I'm not gonna die. I can't afford to die. I've got five kids. And she completely cured herself. And she went all alternative. E everything that the doctors told her to do she didn't do she did every opposite thing including learning to meditate I kept resisting it eventually I learned something crazy happened to my brain in that I became integrated one person rather than multiple personalities all in one head not knowing who I was where I was going always exhausted I went from like not being able to concentrate to even these boring actual textbooks I could study 14 hours on end totally awake I was getting to actual exams it was like three days before I was working how the fridge worked and how the car worked and how my mind was like alive I couldn't believe what happened to me and I then wrote the next two actual exams because uh, I had zero out of ten passed them I was shocked my professor was shocked everyone was shocked I wrote again the following September I passed them both and then I decided to take all six exams the next year, which is unheard of. Like nowhere in the world do people take six of these international actuarial exams in one year. Passed them all. I was doing my honors at WITS at the same time. Got the top honors mark in the country. Liberty Life gold medal. And literally my professor came to me and he said, how did an idiot like you become an actuary? He was shocked. I mean, everybody was shocked. I ended up getting a salary over a million rand. You know, all this kind of thing. And it was like completely amazing. And that's part of why I stayed in the country because I really realized that how many other kids are just idiots out there education doesn't talk to them doesn't talk to them it loses pretty much everybody and I started to think well how do we revolutionize education so that education can talk to each individual and this is really where I think coupling 
digital revolution which is where education's going is everybody's an individual um, you know when it comes to learning and coupling it with how do you develop the brain how do you develop this beautiful potential that sits in every single kid that is completely locked in a steel box and they don't have the key everybody's walking around with a mind and they do not have the key to, to unlock this potential they hear about it but it's just words and 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 how do we do it and we've now done it now with over 15,000 kids trying to prove that a street kid a kid from absolutely nowhere can go on and do a PhD they can go through university they can become a Java programmer they can be a stockbroker be a chartered accountant be anything they want to be even if they just scrape through school are absolutely useless can't get into university if we've proven it 15,000 times then it just says to you why are we throwing away any kids in this country